Keyword Hunter is a really simple tool, but it saves you a lot of time. What it does is it retrieves keywords from popular search engines and amazon.com and .co.uk based on C keywords that you give it. So let's have a look at exactly how we can use it. So let's start off by entering some C keywords on this left hand side. Let's just start with one simple one, the word plastic. I'm gonna make sure I've got amazon.com selected and click run. And you'll see on the right hand side, it brings back the top 10 results with the word plastic in. Now, we can add multiple here. We can choose the word metal, we can do iron, click run, and it'll cycle through all three keywords. So now we have 30 results. You're not just restricted to running on one search engine. You can run at multiple at the same time. And what the tool will do is strip out any duplicates that occur between both search engines. So if we click run here, Here we've got 50 results. So there were likely 10 duplicates that got returned between both search engines. Now we have some more options down here. I'm just gonna turn Google off. We have this add facility, and this allows us to add the letters A through Z or AAZZ to the end of every keyword we have in our list. So for example, if I do A through Z, and I'll choose after, so it's going to append it after our main keyword, and click run, you'll see it's going to cycle through the alphabet, appending those letters to the end of each keyword and bring back the results for us. 779. Let's just work with one keyword so it doesn't take quite so long. So we'll click run. 260 for the word plastic. Now we can also choose before, so this will put the A through Z before the word plastic. Click run. Probably not as many results coming back. There we go, because it doesn't really make much sense with a lot of those letters. So that's before, and then we have wildcard as well. Play around with wildcard, you might not need to use it that often. But for example, if we had a keyword of, let's say plastic glasses, and I'll tell you what, I'll knock this off first. Let's choose none. It's gonna bring back the first 10 for plastic glasses, but notice here we have the word clear in front of plastic and champagne, but we can use the wild card just there, give it a run, and you'll see it will alter the results a little bit. It will remove those keywords where it inserted, inserted a word before plastic. So have a play around with that. You might find it useful. Let's flip this back to after, and we'll choose none. And what else have we got? We got the load from file and load from clipboard. That's pretty straightforward. So for example, if I had these, let's do save to clipboard. Let's wipe this out and then just choose load from clipboard. It's just gonna load in whatever I copied. Have a look at that, sorry, this save to clipboard will save all the results there. If I just wanted these, I can just highlight them. I'm pressing Control C on the keyboard. Low from clipboard, and then it's just the ones that I copied. Okay, over on the right, um, let's run, tell you what, let's, let's bring back our iron, and we'll choose metal. Let's get some more results coming up here. I'll choose A to Z after. So what did we have last time? 770 odd. Fingers crossed that was, that's what we'll get this time. Here we go, 779. Now we have lots of results on the right hand side. Um, I built in some features here to allow you to remove certain keywords that you don't want. So let's say we didn't want something with the word box in there. Well, let's find something with uh, quite a lot so we've got more than one box let's have a word uh, ah, let me just stick with box we know that exists so let's do remove containing and here we can say remove anything containing the word box click OK and it removes them we've gone down to 756 we can do that with multiple keywords so I can do, let's do bags, bins, and bowls. 
So I can do bags and we'll use the pipe character to separate these. Bins, bowls. And it removes those. We're down to 742. So that's remove anything containing those keywords. Let's say we want to remove everything but the keywords. So in this example, let's remove everything but um, let's do cups. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do cups. We'll do buckets just to make sure we're going to have some results remaining. We'll do animal. We'll do lid and lids. There we go. It stripped away lots of keywords there and just left us with the keywords that met our criteria. So now we're down to 32. What else can we do? Well, we can focus on maybe just long tail keywords. And so to do that, we can say remove less than. So this is saying how many keywords or how many words do we want in our keyword, in our phrase here? Let's say we don't want um, anything um, below three. So this one's going to disappear. Maybe some more. So if I key in three there, click OK. It's removed some, and now we've only got keywords that contain three or more words in there. Let's do remove greater, and let's say we only wanted um, keywords with three words in there, so we'll remove anything greater than three. There we go. So then we're left with just our three word keyword phrases. And that's about it. You've seen the full extent of this tool. Uh, with the results here, you've seen me do this before, you can save it to the clipboard, paste it into another application, or save it to a file. Click the button there, and we'll say, my results, and it's popped a file on there. You can open that up in Notepad, there we have it. And that's it, that's the um, Keyword Hunter. If you like it, I'd love you to uh, leave a comment on the website. If you want any changes, let me know. And if uh, lots of people want the same sort of thing, I'll look at adding them in there.